Hello there. Today I'm going to teach you how to install XDSL onto your Xbox without FTP. You're going to need a few things before you begin. First of all, you're going to need a computer, like this. And you're going to need some CDRW discs, like this. An Xbox controller, like this. And you are going to need a soft modded Xbox. I repeat, a soft modded Xbox. Soft modding isn't hard. Here's a link to a tutorial. It's still valid as of 2011. And you are going to need an internet, like this. To begin, you're going to need to get XDSL 0.6. You're going to have to go to the link in the description in order to get there. From here, the download should start automatically. The download's about 51 megabytes. Let it download. From here, use your CDRW disks, and it has to be CDRW. Now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to burn the disk image to the CD. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need any generic ISO burning software. On my computer, I just happen to have disk utility, so I'm going to use disk utility to burn it. Now you're going to burn the disk, and um, while when you burn it, you want to burn it at 4x maximum. So wait for it to burn, and then wait till it's ready. When it's ready, eject the disk, and after that, you're ready to put it into your Xbox. From this point, you're done with the computer. What you need to do is plug your controller in, and turn your TV on. Now just open up your disk tray and insert the disk you just made. And close the disk tray, obviously. From this point, take your controller out. This is going to help a little bit. When XDSL boots, you will get a blue screen with code, which is normal. And you want to move your joypad to accept the disk that says CD-ROM drive. Um, you want to hit 640 by 480, hit the A on your joypad, and then just let it boot up. You should see the DSL logo any moment now. And from this point, just kind of wait and just sit back. Let the Xbox do its thing. Alright, now that you've booted and it's pretty much set up, um, just wait for it to load for a moment. The screen will be miscalibrated sometimes. That's okay. We're going to fix that as we go along. But um, you notice that your joypad controls the mouse, A clicks, and B is your right click. Now that you've booted it, you're able to install. Now here's what you do. You press B on the joypad to right click, and you'll get a menu. Go under Tools and you hit loop back loop back install once you go on there a window should pop up ah, horrible quality but um select yes i have a keyboard for this but um you might have to use the on score on screen keyboard um on the desktop and you have to press enter to select yes So you're going to want to hit, you're going to want to select this as well. Use the on-screen keyboard and hit return. Um, in my case, I just press enter on my keyboard. Here, I'll demonstrate. Um, bring up the on-screen keyboard. And from there, you just drag it up and hit enter. or return actually. So you hit return and that's how you can select everything if you want to. Okay, you're set for the most part, but now you need to select a partition size. By default you have 200. Um, each is represented in megabytes. I'm going to put 
maybe 1994 megabytes, which is about 2 gigabytes. You can put as much as you want though, just just don't take up um, all your memory, otherwise you'll lose your gaming functionality. So then you move on to this, and um, this screen will be here for a while. It's going to be a little sluggish at first. That's normal. So when this comes up, what you want to do is you want to select OK. You do want this, so just select OK. I'm doing it on my keyboard, but use the on-screen in order to do this because you most likely don't have a keyboard. But um, yes, hit yes. And then you're going to want to hit yes again, and then this will start. This might take a little while, just let the Xbox work on its own. Maybe go downstairs and watch TV or something and then come back up because this might take a while. After that long wait, um, this will come up. You'll want to select yes. Afterwards you're going to get this, just hit enter again. You're going to want to select OK, say that it's successfully, ex yeah, just keep hitting yes, keep hitting enter by this point. OK, well, now you have it installed on your Xbox, but I'm going to show you how to get to it. Just uh, reboot. Hit the quit button, or application rather, and hit the reboot, the blue reboot button. Afterwards, you're going to get this again. And um, yeah, this is normal. Just let it turn off. In case if you magically did this without soft modding, um, just remember you need a soft mod to pull this off. This is why you need it. Um, go to your applications folder um, and hit Linux. You want to remove the disk beforehand. So you take the disk out and then you just let Linux boot up this way from your X from your Xbox uh, hard drive, and you want it to load from Fat X. That means essentially it's coming from your hard drive. So Linux will boot from the hard drive and um, you know you'll see this. You, you won't see the XDSL logo. If you see the XDSL logo that means you still have the disk in. Um, that's just how you can tell how you're booting from your hard drive and not from the disk. But um, anyway just wait for it to boot and it's a lot quicker this time than it is from the disk. So from here you have it installed and you know how to use it. But um, if you're, yeah, what you want to do is you want to um, cro you want to get rid of that uh, box. You don't want a new password or anything. But if you notice, version 1.6 Xboxes have this weird um, display glitch. But uh, how you solve that is you go to um, 1.6 screen fix. And then you just hit yes. And you keep hitting enter. And from there you turn off, turn your Xbox off and back on. Oh, and in, in order to install Flash Player, do that and just hit enter and um, let it install itself. It'll take forever but it'll install itself, don't worry. Validated as of 2011. Okay, so shortly after this, reboot and you'll notice that your, that your um, display actually fits your screen now. Congratulations, uh, now you have Flash Player installed and everything. And XDSL is really fun to use and it's kind of rewarding and 
it's, you know, it's pretty cool. It's awesome that you can actually do this with an Xbox. This does not alter your gaming functionality, as long as the partition size isn't too big. And you also have internet access. In order to connect a mouse and keyboard to your Xbox, uh, you're going to need a Targus 4-port USB. That's my mouse and my keyboard that's attached. It might also be useful to have a female USB to Xbox controller port so that you can connect your uh, USB thingy into there and you can connect your mouse and keyboard through that. And you might want to just a regular USB keyboard and a regular mouse just so that it actually feels like you're using a computer instead of just a toy computer. To connect to the internet, you want a wireless contact point. I'm using an Asus WL330GE. It works very well, and um, you preset the password to your Wi-Fi onto it, so that it automatically just logs you in. Oh, and just a side note, I brought back the Xbox Linux Project Wiki. Um, I shared my information on, you know, what Linux was, and what the point is, and how to install Linux. and um, I just wanted to share my information with everyone so that anyone else trying this wouldn't have any difficulties. If you want to be a part of it, go ahead. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Anyway, I hope this helped you, and see you later.